outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm feeling all of the festive vibes and we are doing my annual Christmas wish list gift guide ideas. I've got my handy dandy notes app pulled up here with all of my wish list ideas this year for you guys. I think I came up with some pretty good ones, so let's just get into it, shall we? I have compiled over a hundred gift ideas onto this wish list for you guys, and I broke it up into six different categories. And the first category we're starting with today is tech. Top of the list here, I have a leather Apple iPhone case, a tripod, a camera. I personally would love the Canon G7X, even though I'm not gonna get it. A new computer, a new phone, an iPad, the Apple Pencil, a new speaker, an Apple Watch, a Kindle, a smart TV, a fisheye lens for your iPhone, and then last in this category is headphones. Let that be Beats, the new Apple AirPod Maxes. I personally am asking for Beats. Next category is appliances. First, I have a coffee maker, like a new Keurig, an espresso, a blender, like the Ninja or the Nutribullet. And actually, I recently got my mini Nutribullet at Marshall's for 20 bucks. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, but this is such a great gift idea. You know you're adulting when you're asking for this next one, but next I have pots and pans, the hatch alarm clock, I know it was a super big thing on TikTok. It like wakes you up with the sunrise. Next is a back, neck, or foot massager. Last year for Christmas, I actually got my mom a foot massager and we love it. It's so good. Um, I just got it off of Amazon. And then I just have security cameras. <laughs> Next category is decor. So I have a funky mirror, like all those cute ones you see on Pinterest candles, pillows, a mini trash can. I know Urban Outfitters had this super, super cute mushroom one that I wanted. They sold out online and I didn't get it in the store when I should have, but I'll insert a picture here. It is so cute. A silk pillowcase, I love mine. Blankets, everyone has too many, but I also feel like you can't have too many because they're so justifiable. Who doesn't want another blanket? <laughs> A jewelry box. I recently bought this one from Amazon. Some aesthetic coffee table books. Posters. Tapestries. Fairy lights. A sunset lamp. A clothing rack for the girl in your life that has way too many clothes. Wall collage prints. I know Tezza has really cool collage kits you can get and they're super cute. And the 100 movies scratch off poster. This is such a good idea for the movie girl in your life. Moving on to beauty, at the top of this list is the super insanely expensive but majorly coveted Dyson Airwrap. A heatless curling set. Some stores make it really easy now, you can just walk in and grab a makeup gift set. You can just walk into your local Sephora or Ulta, grab a beauty set and go and there's your gift. I know I was recently at Ulta and I saw they had like all the mini perfumes from Ariana Grande's line and that's just such a good gift idea. Like give it to one person or like open it up and give each mini individual bottle to separate people. And it works as like a bunch of different gifts. It's so smart. <laughs> a makeup brush cleaning mat, some perfume. I know a really big hit this year was the Glossier U perfume, but I personally wear the Memoir by Francesca's Self Love perfume. It smells so good. I love it. You should totally check that one out if you haven't. Very big, but makeup. Maybe some refills on some products you know you already love, some products you're wanting to try. Further down on this list, I do have some makeup items for you guys that I know have been really popular this year that you might want to try. Next, I have the Revlon One Step Volumizer, some self tanner, the Lene lip products or a lip set, a Rare Beauty blush kit, a Fenty Beauty highlighter, the Dior lip gloss, fake eyelashes, a light up vanity mirror, a facial steamer. I would love to try one of those, it just sounds so luxurious. Some shampoo and conditioner, some shower gel. This time of year, I always have to go into Bath & Body Works and get a Christmas scent. I'm currently using the Vanilla Bean Noel shower gel and lotion. An at-home spa kit. If you guys are looking for an all-natural skincare and makeup brand to switch over to, my mom uses and loves the Lemongrass Spa brand. 
I've used some of their products too and they are really good. And lastly, makeup bags. Next category, my personal fave, is the clothing and accessories. Top of this list is a very coveted item this year, last year, the last few years, it's just not going out of style, is the infamous Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. I have a black one, a burgundy one, a fleece one, a navy one. I love them. I would love to get more of them. I don't need more of them, but they're so good, so practical. Next are Airy Crewnecks. Honestly, anything from Airy. I've been obsessed with Airy this year. They're one of my favorite stores. While I'm on this Airy kick, I may as well say, you can also ask for Airy bras and the famous crossover flare leggings. I have those. I love them. Some chunky sweaters. Next are sweater vests. I've been kind of obsessing over them this year. I've bought so many from Marshalls and PJ Maxx. Jackets. Any cold weather winter accessories like hats, scarves, gloves, mittens. Next is a cropped puffer vest or jacket. A Sherpa vest. The comfy. If you live somewhere where it's cold, you need this. Next, we got crop tops, graphic tees, bodysuits, jeans. Baggy jeans, straight leg jeans, mom jeans, they're all super trendy right now. Cute scarves. I know I touched on scarves earlier in like the winter accessories ones, but I'm talking more about like the fashion ones, not like the brr, cover me up, I'm cold ones. <laughs> Another very big topic, but jewelry. You can find it just about anywhere. If you wanna go like the cheaper route, you can maybe check out like Amazon or more fast fashion places. Or you could splurge and ask for or get someone something from like Pandora, maybe a super expensive Tiffany necklace. I just found out how expensive Tiffany necklaces are. I didn't know they were $650. Holy, for a necklace? They're cute though, kinda of want one. A purse, like a shoulder bag, a Sherpa bag, a crossbody bag, any type of bag. Who doesn't want one? <laughs> a backpack. I don't know if they're out of style yet, but I still use my Fjall Robin Konkin. I love it. Along with the bag trend, you could also ask for a Marc Jacobs tote bag. I don't have the actual Marc Jacobs, but I do have a Duke that I got from Urban Outfitters. I love it. I love that it's Sherpa and it's like a really good dupe, honestly. I carry this really often. It's super, super cute. Next are smiley face slippers. I feel like I see them everywhere. I have been for the last year or so. A Sherpa bucket hat. Next, another one of the most coveted items or brands of this year and last year, Uggs. I love them. You could also ask for the Tasman slippers. They are very cute. Those are also on my wish list. This next one, I feel like you either love them or you hate them. Um, the Boston Birkenstock clogs. Next is a trench coat, a blazer, black tights. Those would also make a good stocking stuffer. Loafers, Converse. I love me some Converse. My favorite pair that I own are the pink platform high tops. They're so cute. I also have black, white, blue, brown. I'm a Converse girl, what can I say? Touched on this earlier, but a puffer coat, like maybe a longer one, like a North Face or the Lululemon one. That's the one I want. A silk robe, like one from Victoria's Secret. Those would be so fun and bougie to have. Maybe a jersey from one of your favorite sports teams. Sweatpants, PJ sets. I love getting pajamas this time of year from Old Navy. Next, I have anything from Skims. I know it's kind of expensive, but I hear the quality is like top notch and I think it'd be so fun to try something from them. Your run of the mill old traditional watch, some cloud slides, and then lastly for this category is literally anything under the sun from any small business. My personal faves are Alex Blom Creates on Instagram. I have some sweatshirts, t-shirts, and a tote bag from her. I love her business. She's so sweet, she makes such great stuff, and she works so, so hard. I truly admire her. Another one is Alexandra's Bracelet Co. She makes super cute jewelry. I'm not wearing any right now, but I really feel like I wear all of her jewelry all the time. Shop Manda Maid is also a great one. She makes these really cute disco car charms that I love. I have one in my car right now and it's so cute. It makes me smile whenever I see it. And then some others are Noelle earrings. I love her jewelry. They're so good. Clay earrings from small businesses are just so good. 
Shop for the One is a great Christian brand. I love them. They make really cute clothing. Wild Honey Clay is another jewelry brand. And Grey Bandit. The sixth and final category for this wishlist video is miscellaneous. I have at-home workout equipment, whether this be a treadmill or just weights or maybe one of those like weighted balls, those are fun. Anything to kick your butt into shape, you know what I mean? Oh, and maybe to go along with it, like a gym bag or a yoga mat or maybe some new tennis shoes. Next are board games. You're never too old for board games. Squishmallows. I am a five-year-old. I'm such a huge fan of the Christmas ones. They're so, so cute. I have too many. Two of my personal faves are Winnie the Pooh with the Santa hat. I would also love to receive his little buddy Piglet with the earmuffs. So cute. I love this little Pooh so much. I have him in the 12 inch and the 8 inch. What am I going to do with both? I don't know. Maybe I'll put one in my car, but I love him. And then I also have this little mini Christmas tree. So cute. Next, I have a heating pad, new luggage. Now, we all need to be drinking more water, correct? So you could ask or give a new water bottle. You get one of those big gallon or half gallon ones that have like the cute sayings on them. Like tracking how much you're drinking and like motivating you along the way. Those are really cute. Mugs, books, a planner for the new year, a scrapbook a paint by number kit, concert tickets, I know Taylor Swift is going on tour next year, sports event tickets, any editing software, whether you're editing videos or photos, you could ask for Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop, a music membership, maybe to Spotify or Apple Music. And then the very last thing on my 2022 Christmas wish list gift guide this year are gift cards. That way, whoever receives the gift card can buy something they will surely love. Well, that wraps up my 2022 Christmas wish list this year. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some good gift ideas for you or for others. That's all I got. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Peace out from the Rudolph slippers and I. <laughs>